Hello and welcome to Acton TV Sports and Colonial Football here. Mark, it's cold outside. It's playoff time. I'll tell you, it's a World Series, but this is the World Series of Massachusetts High School Football, and I've got my 2004 Super Bowl jacket on. All right, and that's this has been a lot of winning with that jacket. You know, that's for sure. I'm going retro. Talk about the Bosch, your favorite singer. We're talking about glory days here tonight. All right, so we're crossing, you know, low 40s to early. The 30s here, it's gonna be cold. We got the Colonials on the field, and we got the Methuen Rangers ready to play us a first round playoff game. And boy, am I psyched here. The refs are already on the field, so we gotta get going here. So, playoff time, buckle up. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsor. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Welcome back, everybody. Tim Leal, Mark Shire here at Leary Field. Colonials against the Methuen Rangers, and you know the Colonials seven and zero, big time season. Amazing, totally amazing. And the Rangers are five and two, and they got their nice balanced attack. Tell me about the Rangers. Well, the Rangers are five and two. They could have been six and one. They lost to Tewksbury 31 to 30, and this is crazy. They tried a 50-yard field goal at the buzzer that just missed to win the game. Their kicker, Justin Sheehan, had kicked a 32-yard field goal earlier in the game. That's the kind of confidence he has in his kicker. Uh, Methuen uh, is uh, five and two, as we said. Uh, they've had a few close games against the lower ranked teams, against Andover, against Haverhill. Uh, they beat Lowell by a touchdown. Uh, they are a well-balanced team. Their quarterback's a much better runner than a passer. They've got a brute in Ricky Brutus. <laughs> yeah, I and, love that and name. I'll tell you, this kid is for real. He's got 12 TDs in his first varsity start against Malden Catholic. He ran for five touchdowns. He's got 12 touchdowns for the year. They've got a few burners, Isaac Frederick and Kevin Courier. And I want to tell you, this team likes trick plays. Uh, they like the reverse. Kevin Currier, you got to watch out for him. He's a receiver, but he's thrown the ball a few times. And when they get close to the goal line, they love to go the other way. They, they want to just go back against the grain, try those counter plays. I've seen it time and time again. Watch some film on them. So uh, they're very diversified. They're an honest-to-goodness, decent team, but I think we're better. 
Well, I like that. I like the setting here. So we got the Tricky Rangers against the disciplined Colonials. And, uh, you know, we've been scoring an average of 28 points all season long with a lot of games over 40. So I think, you know, high-powered offense. See if we can, uh, you know, just go one more game. We've been playing up the competition all season long. No, basically, step-back games at all. So I like the discipline. I like the consistency. I like the Colonials tonight, too, man. It's a good bet. Yeah, I, I really do. And, and, you know, in terms of offense, uh, Methuen and A.B. are pretty much similar, about 240 points scored. But A.B.'s only allowed 99 points. Methuen's allowed 173, and I think that's going to be the difference in this game. I think we're going to be able to score more points than they will. That's called winning the game. I love it. So what do you say, Mike? All right, let's, let's play, play some football. football. Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. Welcome back to Acton TV Sports presentation of Colonials Football. Today's game has been brought to you by Huntington Learning Center, Gallant Insurance, Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, Medical Aesthetics, TC Lando. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC. Active Pharmacy. National Aviation Academy. All right, welcome back, everybody. The Colonials against the Methuen Rangers here. Beautiful night ahead of the Nor'easter that's coming in tomorrow. About 38 degrees. We get, both are toasty here on the farmer's porch. Let's play some football. Yeah, Methuen. They won the toss, they deferred, so A.B. is going to go on the offense right away. And the winner of this game wins an all-expense trip to Danvers, Massachusetts to play St. John next week. St. John is playing seventh seed Haverhill, who they, uh, they beat pretty badly during the season. So most likely it's going to be St. John, and uh, we'll show you at the first time out just how close A.B. came <laughs> to getting a home game in the second game of the playoffs if they won tonight. All right, Nick Pasillo. And Victor Otero and Noah Sweeney and 
Stan Bernard. Got a lot of got a lot of burners back there. And Ethan Logue. That's a okay. good set of five right there. And Stan Bernard. We talked about the. This kid's got a great kicker. Yeah, he's got a he's got a foot. Let's Justin see. Justin Shaheen. Let's see what he does with it. Number thirty for the Rangers here. He's kicking 35 yarders in warm up, like with ease. You don't want this game to come down to a field goal, believe me. All right, short kick to Sweeney, takes it on his own 20. And it's a return left, he's got a little bit of a hole, one block away here, gets the, gets the Wow, it's a long way, but he gets up to the 35-yard line. Probably oh, ran about man. 40. And, and he, he got punished on that tackle, but I love the way he turned the corner. Great vision by Noah Sweeney and turning that corner. And good field position for A.B. starting off. A lot of room to work with. Got big number 56, Ian McKinnon, as a left defensive and end. They got a big number 75 there at defensive end, too. They run blitz, and we run up the middle on a keeper for about four. Let's see where they mark that. Make that three. That's the first time in about six games that we've run that play to start the game. So, Coach Bassett may be. Had maybe looking at something here. Sweeney back the pass, throws it in between three defenders for another th three or four yard oh, game. Oh, I think he got a great spot on that. Burns game Burns forward Burns progress, Burns. look at this. And look at this pass. I'm not sure he had the first down, but look at first that down. spot. First down. We got a break. We got, we got a gift. And they are moving the sticks. But uh, boy, if you can see that replay one more time, Finn Murray throws that ball in between three Rangers. Uh, that's a lot of confidence. He's just stretching it. Look at it. One, yeah, two, three, there right it there. Is. Stan Bernard split out wide right. Ethan Logue wide left. All right, Finn Murray looks, he's got an opening here. He's gonna take a, behind a great block up the middle as he pounds his way up for about eight. Ah, take a look at that block. That was great play. Finn Murray couldn't find a receiver, looking, looking, and now he decides to take off. And look at that block by Alex Barrett. And it's second and short. That's a playoff game block right there. All right, Finn under pressure, throws the ball deep over the middle to Victor Hotel. And he gets it across inside the 15 to about the 13 yard line. That's what you call separation. And that's against Kareem Coleman there. Safety. And Vic, not even close. Coleman catches him around the 15 yard line. And they're and taking it's it back. All coming back. And all I'll, coming back. I would guess Finn Murray took quite a shot after that throw as well. Somebody was coming around the end on a blitz. See. All right, we've got second and 20 now wow. instead of first and 10 in the red zone. That is about a 55 yard difference there. Ball's on the 39. And Victor Otero again, oh, and overthrown. Looked like there was uh, interference there as Coach Bassett runs over and says, "Hey, let's take a look at." It. I don't. Call, th I don't think there was interference. I don't say. No, no, I, think I don't a little really bit see of a... it. No. But I tell you, they're going after that matchup. If they're going one and one with Coleman, I think Victor Otero is licking his chops right now. And it's third and 20. 
They got Brutus on uh, Jonas in the slot. Single safety. Oh. Overthrown again. That was good coverage that time by Coleman. And A.B. really, take a look at this. Good coverage by Coleman on the play. And once again, overthrown. A.B. only gained two yards from their original field position on the on the 37. So now it's fourth down and ball will turn over. Good kick. Oh. And immediately tackled. Slimdog with the covers there breaks down and takes down number three, Isaac Frederick. Yeah, and it's good to get him quick. Look at this tackle. Got him by the shoulders and just brought him down. Ball at about the 24 yard line, first and 10 for the Rangers. They got a big line, Tim. Got some big kids up there. Yeah, no kidding. That left tackle is. He's a he's a big kid. That's one of the biggest uh, linemen that we've seen all year. All right, they run a little option toss on the outside, right side for maybe a yard gain. A B, once again, very disciplined. This is where A B I think is going to win this game. Really holding Methuen. Brutus, two yards. Second and eight. Quarterback likes to run. They're showing fly. This time it's a keeper for the quarterback. And Connor Bryant goes for maybe a couple yards. Okay, that'll bring him about a third and six, a third and seven. Good, good play there, good coverage. And Barrow it once again, and Nick Pachillo on the play. Double slot right, play action. Bryant throws over the middle, and it looks like it's complete. It, it is, is first complete. down. A very nice pass and a very nice catch to the 40 yard line. And that's West, Wesley Correa who he talked about. He's thrown a few passes, but look at those hands. First and 10 on the 40. Nice pass by Bryant. Oh, we might have a flag here, let's see. No flags. Deep ball. Oh, oh it. Victor Otero on the coverage was juggling that football. Oh, he had yeah. great position. Yeah, as Johnny Most would say, button, button. Who's got the button? Look at this. Thick in great position. He's got it. The ball goes up. He bobbles it. He hits it again. And he just can't come down with it. Second and 10. We're lucky we had enough time for that replay. <laughs> yeah. All right, second and 10, here we go. Play action, There's little a screen. screen to Brutus. And he gets run out of bounds after about a two yard gain. Good coverage. Oh man, Bring that, up was, third and that five. was great pursuit, great pursuit. Take a look at this play. Matt German. All right, take a look at Matt German here. And Pachillo. That was Noah Sweeney, I think, there on that play. And just as you said when we opened up, Mark, you see the uh, Rangers attacking the weak side of the field. Look at this. Quad, quad left there, we run a tight end there. A lot of changes formation wise. Over the middle is a little post oh. pattern, they miss it, a streaking. Let's see, number 18. That is Calais Adams. Adams, yeah. 
He's just a junior. They don't go to him very often. And that ball was just slightly overthrown. Fourth and five kicking situation here with 6.02 to go in the first. I like that Vic Otero matchup with Kareem Coleman. Okay, to get the kick off. This is one to stay away from, going the other way. Good bounce. All right, looks like the marking on the 39, maybe the 40. All right, we're I don't right, know how we got to the 40 with that we're, ball. We're right back where we started. And we got a timeout here. Let's take a look quickly at the power rankings if we can. And I want to show you just how close they were. 140 for Everett, 139.4 for St. John's Prep, 139 for AB. We were nosed out by four tenths of a point from a home game next week if we won. Unbelievably close power rankings. Here we go. All right, little power formation this time, and Barrowick gets on the outside, stiff arm, and steps out of bounds at midfield. Well, that's going to be a first down, I think. I think they're going to give him the first down. It's right at the 50-yard oh, yeah. line. That's a, that's a move to chains. Oh, I tell you, they're saying second. They're saying second and they one. Move. No, they no, go. no, 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 no. They're going to move the chains. They moved the chains last there time. There we go. Okay, <laughs> they're moving the chains. Here we go. Yeah, All right, look at AB down. going with a, a little bit more of a run power formation against the big line of Methuen. Little pistol here. Barrow it patiently takes his way up for three. He had nothing at the point of attack. All right, good, good run on first down. And we've got flags. We got flags flying here. I think it's a warning. And I'll tell you, we've got uh, uh, unsportsmen on both teams here. Yeah, we got we got the red. It's like one of those baseball warnings, you know, when you have, when the pitcher uh, throws at the uh, the hitter's head. They warn both teams. All right, looks like second and seven. Yeah, nothing nothing marked off here, but just warnings to both teams to. Take it easy. <laughs> All right, in the pistol again. Play action, Finn Murray. He's got Nick Pasillo for about three yards on the flat. First pass, Puccinello approaches. Complete, good for game, about three. And, you know, he, 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 throws, he throws that ball about 20 yards. Might be a five-yard gain, but that's about a 20-yard throw. All right, third and three, big play here. Run a pass, that's the question. Everybody up in the box for McDoing as they... Finn Murray gets tripped up for a big-time loss there. Oh, Alex Barrowway was doing a heck of a job blocking there, but big Chad. number 55, Chad Rayo, was able to catch him. Barrowway got the first guy, but couldn't get the second guy. This is playoff football. Both teams sparring in the middle of the field, feeling each other out. AB with a completely different offensive approach that series. Got Ricky Brutus back deep. Get the ball off. Low kick. And gets a A-B roll. Wow, what a great bounce. What a great kick. Take him to the NFL. That's on the four-yard line. Can't get any better than that, Tim. Wow. All right, we got, we got other playoff games here. Uh, Everett, number one seed, is playing Andover, the number eight seed. And uh, they've got a long winning streak at this point. Lexington, play, Lexington goes to Central Catholic. And as we said, Haverhill goes to St. John's. Let's see if we can create a turnover here. 
All right, complete over to middle. It's a first down, I think. No, close to a first down, not quite. That's Isaac Frederick here. You see the replay. It's just a quick hitter. And Barrow it with the short tackle. Connor Bryant's a little just more accurate than I thought he'd be. As, as he was warming up, he didn't really seem to have that kind of quick release and the accuracy, but he's, he's come to play tonight. But the keeper with Bryant on the edge, and he gets met by Ethan Logue and company. And I think that'll be enough for a first down. Just enough, I think. There you go. Alex Barat's been very active tonight on both ends. And Fleming was in on that play, making that first hit. And Pacillo, of course, is in on every play. Going with a hard count. Keeper again up the middle. And Bryant gets about six. Yeah, that, up and that's easy. where you see you see that little deception. Take a look at this replay. And just looking back at Bryant. And look at that. The fake pitch and the little deception there. Another keeper. Bryant up the middle again for a first down run. All right, they're seeing something there up the middle. And as we said at the beginning, Bryant is more of a running quarterback than a passing quarterback. And big push up the middle. Good, good push by the offensive line. First and 10 on the 32. This time they run the toss. And a great tackle. And I'll tell you, that was, that was made possible by a, by a really poor pitch. That was a poor pitch. Look at that. It had to, had to reach for it. And Jake Durkin. Is right? that Jake? Yeah, no, that's, no, that's Vic uh, Otero. That's Vic, Vic, Victor yeah, Otero. Victor, Victor Otero on the stop. And that is a big loss for the Rangers here. Second and 15. Play cover two now. All right, little short pass out of the flat, and he gets, ooh, ooh man, a 10-yard gain. Wow, that play easily could have been stopped for no gain. But Nick Pacillo saved the first down on that. TJ just couldn't get him. And now it's third and five. Still fairly deep in Methuen territory. A lot of formation change. Throw the ball deep, they got it. And there you go. Tackled down at the one goes Wesley Correa in a Wesley big time Korea. strike. Yeah, Wesley Correa gotten back of Noah Sweeney. And Sweeney with his great speed was able to run him down, but not until he got to the one yard line. Perfect pass, right in stride. And Sweeney just getting him down before he hits pay dirt. And that's what you call a, a you know, a play action strike there. AB drawn up on that play action, multiple play action. And the keeper. Nothing doing. And that'll be. That'll be the end of the first quarter with the ball still on the one yard line. And they'll, they'll tick that down three seconds to go if that clock is right here. That's it. That should be the end of the first quarter. I don't know if they're playing soccer time. Are they playing the refs extra are gonna let time this play go. No, 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 no. It, it, was, it was reading zero for about five seconds. I'm watching the ref. I'm saying, is this a soccer game or a football game? There's no extra time in football. 
I'm watching the head ref there. Watch the clock and not call that whistle. And I said, what is going on here? Okay, well, you know, I think it's really interesting, the tale of two teams here. I think, you know, Methuen looks like A.B., and A.B. looks like what I thought Methuen would look like. You know, A.B. has been more run-oriented, a little bit more closer formation. Methuen has basically, you know, multiple sets, spread them out, and, you know, basically has done a lot of running back, flat passes, and, and a couple of post passes. So, it's interesting. Yeah, I, I want to go to Statman and see how many passing yards Connor Bryant has in the first quarter. Connor Bryant has how many He's yards? Seven, let's see here. He is four, five of seven for 98. Okay, Connor Bryant in the first quarter, five of seven for 98 yards. Yeah, and that was a 62 yarder to uh, Korea. All right. AB's got a game on their hands. That's what we thought would happen tonight. Very competitive game. back about the about the two two and a half yard line all right brian again with the keeper and, and it looks like in. touchdown so with 10 54 to go in the first half the rangers strike first all right take a look at this just falling number 44 jamie blaisdell he's a a senior fullback big fullback and he's right in the end zone and here comes a kick with that uh, really good kicker, Justin Sheehan. Justin Sheehan to kick. Kick is up and it is good. So the Rangers strike first, seven nothing. There you go. Take a look at number 44. He's your lead blocker. And he really just gets rid of two or three defenders. And Connor Bryant just dives right in, just over the goal line. And Methuen draws first blood here. Boy, and you know, you take away from that replay. There's a war going on at the line of scrimmage tonight like you haven't seen all season, really. You know, these kids are battling. Yeah, they're, 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 they have a lot of strength in their line. But I really do think that AB, once they get in rhythm, can uh, can really score against this team. And the freshman cheerleaders, Christian Sal, Paige Napolitano, Sarah Grady, and Evie Bond. Three minutes to go in the first half. All right, second kickoff now for Sheehan. All right, Sheehan kicks it down the middle. Victor Otero on his own nine yard line, stutter steps and gets tackled at his own 25. Yeah, well covered. Uh, Statman says, I, and I have to believe him, is that the, this is the first time that uh, we have not scored first all season? Yeah. Wow. Okay, AB on their 26 yard line. Not used to being down early in the game. All right, AB comes out of the coach's huddle. Once again, Andrew, right Andrew Fleming is still at center. Terranova is out again. So Stanton is on the line too, but Fleming is your center. All right, Finn looks, scrambles. Gonna take it around for maybe a couple of yards on the edge. And right now you're seeing decent coverage in the secondary. Finn Marcus, first maybe a yard looking, game. looking both ways, doesn't see a receiver under some pressure, 
Once again from 44, Jamie Blaisdell. Looks like Methuen is taking away the pass and saying beat us with the run game. You see him with a the flat pass to Victor Otero. Nothing there, bring up third and 10. Yeah, we, I mean, we've had problems with that pass really all year. That pass has been well defended. And number seven, Ricky Brutus playing on both sides. Good tackle by Brutus. That post is open. Timeout, Methuen is, yeah, timeout Methuen. All right, this is a really important play for AB right now. Third and nine, you don't wanna turn the ball over after giving up a score. And here comes Finn Murray with a play from Coach Bassett. See Missouin with a single linebacker. See how they played us, yeah. One middle linebacker and effectively uh, now they change it up. All right. Finn looking and and it's a big time blitz. Yeah, the old jailbreak. And they they brought everybody on that play. And take a look at this. Just too many guys. Too many guys. Missed blocks. And it's fourth down, and Methuen's going to get good field position here. Methuen return of giving Finn Murray a lot of respect back on his 45 yard line. Isaac Frederick back. And a low kick. And a good AB roll. Keep rolling, keep rolling. All right, All right. stopped on the 39 yard line. So interesting, you know, we talked about the Methuen defense being the, uh, really the yeah, area the, that we the, should be able the, to the take Achilles, advantage of. The Achilles yeah. heel. And, and they, have, they have really come to play tonight. I think they heard our opening. It's not disrespecting because they're playing <laughs> big time. Some good coach calls there. And look at that big number, 91. Tom Terrell, they have listed at six feet, 180 pounds. That is wrong, trust me. <laughs> All right. They fake the fly. Ah, good play. And, and good Connor play. Bryant gets tackled for maybe, maybe a yard gain. Look at that. Look at Fleming on this play. Yes, not letting him get by him. Good play by Andrew Fleming. And I'll tell you, number six, Coleman, goes in motion all the time. He's going to run about 500 yards tonight. You haven't seen a team, really, with this much motion all year. All right. Little screen pass and oh, Vic good Otero. time to play. Vic. Whoa. He just stuck him. He had, take a look at this kid. He's got, he's not a big kid, but he is strong. Look at Vic Otero on this play. See you later. Going back the other way. Very creative offense, though. You know, you have the, the little uh, fake toss, quarterback bootleg, that's what flat they do. pass. That's what they do. There's a <laughs> lot of deception. And, le and, le and just wait for the counter. I'm just waiting for the counter, waiting for the reverse. They're going to they're gonna try everything at some point during this game. All right, third down, four yards. And... Coach. And we've got a time, timeout. Timeout, Methuen. Methuen. Second timeout of the game for Methuen. All right, let's, let's take a look at the scoring leaders. It'd be very interesting to see the Division I scoring leaders because we, we've got a lot of uh, 
the representation at AB. Look at Finn Murray, number two behind that incredible quarterback of Lexington, Bianchi. And right behind Finn is Ricky Brutus of Methuen with his 12 touchdowns. But then we've got three guys, Stan Bernard, Victor Otero, and Alex Burrow at all in the top scoring leaders in Division One. And those stats are, now right now, we gotta put some stats in for tonight. And uh, it's third and four. Methuen and these kinds of plays has really let Connor Bryant do most of the work. See how they line up. Little throw back, oh. Big time, this is the old Patriots play. Where 91 becomes eligible. And that, that I'll tell you, that's, that can't be Tom, it says Tom Thoreau, Thoreau uh, tight end, six feet, 180 pounds. But once again, a really creative if he's 180 Play pounds, calling. that looks like a lot more than he's, 180. He's going to be 225, 220, Easy. 225, but they're knocking on the door again. AB having difficulty with these play with these play calls and with throwing. They're really mixing it up. The keeper and up the middle. That's a good game. Goes Bryant. Good game by Bryant. Yeah, we really haven't seen an offense like this with this no, no, motion. There's, there's so much motion and so much misdirection and so many options. And if you have a quarterback who can run. Keeper again, Bryant goes up the middle. And that's going to be a first down, I think. See where they mark that. Here we go on the replay, right up the middle, finding his hole, and getting very close. Third down and maybe a yard. Yeah, I thought he had the first down, but it's 30 yard. Taking their time. You gotta get a play in here. Yeah, I figured I figured they'd have to call a timeout. What was that about? That's an interesting little mind game there. That's the third timeout. McLuhan being very calculated in this first half. Is there any concessions in tonight's game? And you still still look at that counter play. This is this is the area of the field where they like to run that counter. See AB pulled Priscilla out, put him back in. They went a little bit more size, but still. All right, Ryan with the touchdown as he slants it off tackle. Touchdown, Okay, puts A.B. down two scores now. Ball hit the ground and just diving into the end zone. Double team at the point of attack. A nice kick out block there. And uh, that line of scrimmage, we're getting challenged there. This is even, uh, these kids are every bit as good as LS up front. And the There's kick is up, kick. and it's okay. good. All right, unfamiliar territory for the Colonials down 14 to nothing. Watch, watch the double team at the point of attack. Yeah, you see it right there. That little kick out block there. And he just, find, he just finds the end zone there. So 14 nothing, 6.06 to go Plenty in the of first time. half. Plenty, Plenty of, time. of time. Come back with one score at least 
Make it a one score game at halftime. This is really about getting comfortable and playing AB football. And really, all season long, we haven't really seen this team on their heels, no yeah, matter we, who we yeah, play. We've been, we've been out of rhythm right from the beginning of the game. And I, and I think the, that penalty uh, on Vic Otero's catch just kind of changed the whole dynamic. That's a, I agree. I think that, you know, we had a lot of momentum and they've been giving us the middle of the field. Yeah, we had a couple of first downs. We had a long pass to Victor and uh, those all came back. It's been all Methuen ever since. All right, Victor Otero at his own 15, takes it up the middle and slices his way to about the 34. Victor Otero will return. All right, let's play some A.B. football. All right, we've seen, we've seen this defense now a couple of times. You can see this stri straight across four four man contain. They're really playing the way teams play the Patriots this year, which is <laughs> you know they basically that's, play. Uh, that's an interesting, Brady's been saying interesting. They, I, yeah, they've been playing conservative and covering all the routes, making Brady hold the football in the divide. Play action and Finn Murray goes up for a couple. Very little doing there, but I think I think I think Finn's going to do that some more. I think he's going to. I think there are opportunities there. Murray is averaging four yards a play. All right, Finn back to pass, under pressure. And got it. Oh, 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 look at that. Wow, is that ball oh, completely he, And he got one wow. foot in, went right over the bench, knocked the bench over. That's I, a, I have not seen a play like that. Look at this. Finn Murray a, getting away from big 56, going to the sideline. Hitting Stan Bernard at his favorite spot, right on the white stripe. And it's a first down for A.B. That may be just a play we need to get the, get the ball rolling here. Get this team woken up here. Whoa, we got a timeout. What's going on here? Timeout, Timeout, Whoa, we didn't goodness. like that. We had, they had Barrow they had going Barrow. in motion. He was one-on-one -on -one against somebody that he must have been able to beat pretty bad down the sideline there, and Methuen. Yeah, what you, what you had, if we could have a re replay of the beginning of that, that, that was gonna be Barrowett. The moment that was snapped, he was gonna go on a fly pattern, one-on-one, -on -one, and I think Finn was just gonna try to hit him deep. Interesting timeout by Coach Tom Ryan. He's in his sixth year at Methuen, got a 28-27 record going into this season. Methuen graduated about 30 players last year, so they're kind of in a rebuilding mode right now. Well, they're playing inspired football. And Ricky Brutus hasn't even touched the ball yet. I mean, really, it's interesting. All right, first and 10. Finn looking, he's got oh, yeah. Victor Otero down the sideline on a fly pattern for another first down. Okay, and he beat Jonathan Olette. And that was a perfect pass. Look at this pass, look at that. Thrown right, right to Vic. The only place he could get it, he just had a step on the defender. 
Little delayed draw to barrow it. It's a oh, great yeah. second effort. Oh, that's, that's what a, we need. That's a barrow it, barrow it. <laughs> and look at that. Look, look how he pirouettes here. There's a delayed draw. He has stopped and then he just pirouettes. We've got everything. We got dosy dos. We got pirouettes. I think that was the most important play of the first half for us on offense because it's a good play call against their aggressive approach, and you had the big time second effort. We needed that. All right, Finn looking over middle pumps, and there's oh, a hole. There's, there's a flag. Right. Okay. Wow. We got it this time. That ball could not be caught. That ball was overthrown, no question about it. But take a look at this. Let's see if that ball was that, in fact, that overthrown. That was a double pump by Murray. Yeah, that, that uh, might yeah. have been caught. Maybe not that overthrown. Ball's at the 10, but just outside the 10. But the Colonials have had to work hard tonight. First and 10 for, the, from the 13. for every yard. Ball on the 13 yard line, 4.16 to go in the half. Come on, let's make it a one score game here. Under pressure goes Finn Murray. He's going to get the ball out, and it's complete to Victor Otero. And I believe he's got a foot in bounds. The ref says yes. Or maybe a three yard gain. Yeah, not not much, not much gain, but better than an eight yard loss, that's for sure. Coleman on the coverage, pushing Vic out, Victor out of bounds. We are they are dropping the house on it, what should be open is a drag over the middle with the tight end, Jonas, with the covers they have. Stan Bernard backs tracks. What a great move. And he wow. gets another three or four. Uh, ball really not much of a gain on the play. Once again, he avoided a loss. And the ball is just inside the 10 yard line. Third down. They can get a first down at about the three and a half yard line. Really important to get a touchdown here. You need a quarterback bootleg off in some way. I don't know if we have it in the playbook anymore, but that would work on this team. All right, option. Barrowit cuts yeah. and touchdown. All right. That's a perfect play. And there's a flag on the play. And there is, that's either going to be taunting or uh, a flag on Methuen. Let's see what it is. These refs are really keeping a lid on this. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've got their thumbs on this game because it's getting a little chippy. Yeah, I think that might have been Alex Berwin having a few words with the defender. <laughs> let's see, let's get a replay on this if we can. Tim Bassett having a long discussion. Now look at Barrowett, look at the move that he makes. And as he gets into the end zone, let's see what happens here. He's in the end zone. He, he got hit a couple of times and he took exception to that and had a few words and got flagged for it. All right, so now this is a 20 yard field goal. Extra point, if you will, the kick is up and it looks, and it is good with 3.57 to go in the first half. The Colonials are on the scoreboard. It's 14 to seven. Now I think that penalty is probably gonna be marked off on the kickoff. They could barrow it once again. He shreds a tackler, goes into the end zone, and then gets hit a couple of times, kind of gratuitously, yeah. and took exception to it. And you know, the old, the old cliche is it's not the first one, it's the reaction that gets flagged, and that's what happened here. And let's see where AB kicks off from. 
Yeah, they're they're on the 25. Yeah, that's where it's gonna be marked. And this is where you gotta watch. You know, somebody like Brutus, very talented. Keep the ball away from him. That's a good kick. Good kick. Make sure we don't overrun this coverage here. And all right, good shot. All right, 37-yard line. First and ten for the all Rangers. All things considered, not bad field position when you kick off from your 25-yard line. Nate Sullivan on the stop. Coach Bassett still talking to the ref. He's not happy. Call. He's not happy because the fact of the matter is is that if there was a flag, it should have been called first on two Methuen players who took gratuitous shots at Barrowett after he was long into the end zone. All right, let's see if this wakes up the AB defense. The offense always wakes up the defense. Let's see if they're inspired here. All right, little sprint out pass. That's a first Complete down. For a first down across midfield. The Rangers continue their productive yeah. offense. And you see Bryant sprinting in that direction. He's got all the momentum going. Good separation. First down. Whoa, that, that, I'll tell you, it looked like it could have been a flag. Wow, that's a, I've never seen that before. They might have been running a Wildcat. He changed it up. Oh, almost. Priscillo and Bryant gets away, breaks three tackles, oh, and ends up man. with a six-yard gain. You had Matt Cox ready to just put him down about 10 yards behind the line of scrimmage, and Bryant just eludes him. He just couldn't bring him in, and then I think it was I think it was Fleming who also missed him, almost had a face mask. And it's second and four. Very uncharacteristic. We usually break down very well in front of quarterbacks and running backs and so on. Just a lot of energy out there in the field. All right, the running option. And good cutback inside. He breaks. Very poor tackling on that play. We had that well defended. Yeah, we, we, we had him for a loss. And Coleman. Coleman on the carry, take a look at this. Here's the pitch, and we've got him stopped. And Coleman just makes a nice little move. We had, you know, I think the issue there, we had three defenders shoulder to shoulder, and we really couldn't. I, I, I think what we did is we might have just overrun it a little yeah. bit. And we had all the, they had all the momentum going one way, and Coleman just had to make one little shift to get that first down. All right, 2.20 to go in the first half. First and 10 on the 35 of the Colonials goes the Rangers. And Bryant with a keeper off Still tackle. Five yards, Tim. Five yards. It's a good play. Bangkok's on the tackle. Take a look at this. All he does just finds a little hole. Great vision. Second and five. Need a big play. Loss, turnover, something to kill the momentum here.
They run a reverse, it's a half back option pass. Oh, Noah Sweeney almost had a pick to the house there. It's just. And you knew, you knew that was coming. You knew that Korea pass was coming at some point and they picked this time to do it. And uh, third down. And once again, with that field goal kicker, uh, you know, three points is huge in a game like this. So you always have to watch out for that field goal kicker too. And you're in his range right now, really. 45 yarder. All right, Ryan rolls right. He's got room to run if he cuts back, and he does, close to a first down, and I think he has it. Okay, he, wa he wants to throw. This is, not a, this is not a run, but now he sees an opening, and he's got a first down. Nate Sullivan on the stop, but not before. Mathillon gets another first down at the 25 yard line. Time running down, 119. Play action, little screen pass. And off to the races goes Brutus, breaking tackles all the way down to the four yard line. Yeah, and we got it. We got an AB player down right now. Nick Pachillo on that, but just inability to really bring somebody down. And it's first and goal for Methuen with a minute to go. That's Hollis Thurstein, I believe, down. Well, if he can't go, that would be a huge loss. All right, as, why don't we uh, take a quick break? We'll be right back, folks, after this word from our sponsors. Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. 101 to go in the first half here. Hollis Thurstein is walking off after getting shaken up. And the Rangers are lined up, looking to get another score here. Bryant, off tackle, and in for a score. 
Yeah, this is a, a very confident Methuen team here answering AB's touchdown with one of their own right at the end of the first half, 52 seconds to go. This is one of those situations, you know, where the Patriots always like to score before the end of the first half and then they get the ball to start the third quarter. Methuen deferred, so they're gonna be on offense to begin the second half. Tim, Coach Bassett talking again with the uh, with the rep. Looks like unsportsmanlike conduct uh, on Methuen. Indication is an unsportsmanlike call against Methuen to be assessed on the kickoff. All right, so with 52 seconds to go, this may give us an opportunity. They're kicking off from the 25-yard line. Matthew to hold. So don't go away, folks. We got 52 seconds of AB offense. And kick is good. Kick is good with the band. The tuba player caught that one. All right, folks, with 52 seconds to go, it's 21 to seven. The Colonials down two scores. Okay, so let's script it right now. We've got a kick, there you go. He's just no one touching him. Another touchdown for Connor Bryant. He had seven touchdowns during the season. He's got two tonight, right, uh, Will? Bryant, no, he's got three. Three, three touchdowns for Connor Bryant. Touchdowns All he right. Has, he has over 200 total yards. Over 77 passing and 58 rushing. Over 200 yards for Connor Bryant. That's 177 yards passing in the first half. This is a quarter, this is a quarterback that we talked about as a running quarterback too. Yeah, he's really. He's having the game of his high school career tonight. He's really played very solid. And I think defensively, the Colonials just, just haven't seen this kind of offense. We've played very similar offensive schemes all year. And I think we got comfortable with that standard spread. Well, here we go. All right, Noah Sweeney on his, from his own 33. Gets to the outside, a little bit of a seam, and boy, is he quick when he turns on the Jets. Gets to about midfield, there's a, and it's a flag. flag. Okay, I was looking for that flag. Another flag. Another flag. And now it's getting ugly. Now it's getting a little ugly. Let's, let's get everyone separated. I think we're going to have the ball at around the 34-yard line. Let's let's see what the refs say. The refs are still over there. And the entire all four refs are over there next to the Ranger sideline. All right, come on. I want to see a walk off here. Unless they call offsetting personal fouls, which they could do. Okay, yeah, offsetting. offsetting, offsetting, and that's a problem, you know. At a time like this, you can't react, you can't respond. You gotta take the 15 yards and say thank you. Coach Bassett is beside himself. There goes Sweeney, take a look at him. And you see that activity after he's out. All right, first and 10. On the 49 of the Rangers, 43 seconds on the clock for the first half. Finn Murray under pressure. And good defensive perfectly timed play. defensive yeah. play against Stan Bernard and there. That is Ben Cadet, a junior defensive back with a very well timed play on that. 38 seconds to go. And Finn Murray is just not getting a lot of time to set up. There's been a lot of pressure on him all night. 38 seconds, second, 10. Big time blitz again. Finn Murray under pressure. 
Right, and he's sacked. They, they're just bringing the house every time against Finn Murray. And AB calls a timeout with a difficult third down play, the time winding down. You know, you wonder if, uh, you know, a, a screen pass or something, something to kind of offset that rush by Methuen. That's a good call. Now with 29 seconds and, you know, got third down and about 13 yards to go here. You know, six plays in the book. We can get a first down. So plenty of time to, uh, the way we uh, use the clock with our- Yeah, and you've got timeouts. Pat Cronowit now in the backfield. Yeah, he's there for a little protection for Finn. And you'll see another blitz. Oh, wait a minute. There, there's a, oh, oh my God. why don't they call a flag? Come on. That's ridiculous. They, they, uh, that coach, ball was snapped. Coach, he was offside, it looked to me. See coach, the replay here. Look you at can this. see. Uh, oh, well, we can't, uh, can't, we can't see it. No. Oh, there are flags on the play. Okay. It's going to be offside, Methuen. Uh, we don't have the replay of the actual s start. Yeah. They're doing a lot. There's a lot of conversation going on with the coaches here. A lot of explanations. They seem to be much more apologetic to the Methuen. <laughs> right. It's like Bassett doesn't get any conversation. <laughs> no, over no, here. no. They're yeah, they're kind of inviting him over for dinner. I think. Oh. I don't know. Come on. What's a I, illegal? Il an eligible receiver in, is declined. An eligible player downfield, I believe, is the call. They declined a penalty. So, punting situation in 21 seconds to go. And back deep is uh, is Isaac Frederick. And Cronowet coming in late here. They looked off sides there too. Gets off a high kick. And fair catch at the 18, 14 seconds to go and the Rangers take over. Okay, looks like a two touchdown lead for Methuen with them getting the ball to start the third quarter. Gonna have to make some really important halftime adjustments here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. They have just not seen an offense with this kind of motion, and this it's a very creative offense. And it just keeps keeps people, keeps the defenders really just off their rhythm, and that's it for the first half. The Rangers smartly take a knee, going to halftime with a two-score lead, 21 to seven, and wow, what a first half. You have the Rangers, really the underdogs coming into this game, playing with a lot of attitude and a great game plan. And I think for the first time, like you said, Mark, the Colonials are gonna have to go into the, into the locker room and make some substantial changes to go out and win this game tonight. That's gonna do it for first half action. We'll be right back after this message with the Statman player comparison. <laughs> I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. 
We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, we'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. All right, welcome back, everybody. It's time for our Statman Halftime Player Comparison. Take it away, Mark. Well, Finn Murray has been under intense pressure this whole game. He's 7 for 10, passing for only 48 yards, uh, and he's been running for his life the whole game. Uh, as far as rushing is concerned, uh, Finn's got 16 yards rushing. Uh, Alex Barrowett, 4 for 28 and he's got one touchdown, and that's basically it for A.B. Uh, for Methuen, uh, their quarterback, Connor Bryan, is having the game, as you say, the game of his career. Nine for 11 passing for 177 yards, and, um, and he has got three touchdowns rushing, only had seven for the whole season, and uh, 58 yards rushing. So he has got 235 yards of total offense in the first half. And really, that's been the game. The game has been Connor Bryant running at will, passing at will, missed tackles on the part of A.B., just not up to speed to this Methuen offense so far. That's a great, great points, Mark. And I'd say that if I'm Methuen in the half, at halftime, I'm saying, I'm tossing the ball to Ricky Brutus and saying, take it the rest of the way. So just when we have a, a game plan against Connor Bryant, I think Ricky Brutus has really been their main act. Uh, is uh, It's going to be the, the, that's who they're going to attempt to feature in the second half. So. Absolutely, because what they're going to do is they're going to try to run out the clock on AB, and I think they're going to go to a ball control offense and see if they can run out the clock in A.B. And that may play right into our own hands, because I think that's how we were set up to play the game in the first place. So interesting, interesting stats uh, there. So stay tuned for highlights from the first half and second half kickoff right after this message. Shire, Caton, and Epstein PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. All right, welcome back. It's time to take a look at the first half highlights. You get Barrowit around the edge here with a great stiff arm. And stays in bounds for about eight yards. Okay, that's Finn Murray. He's looking and he's scrambling. And once again, running for his life and being tripped up. All right, Connor Bryant with a keeper up the middle. Just breaking tackles for seven or eight yards. Once again, Bryant faking to Coleman. And he's going long, and he's got his guy, Coria, and Noah Sweeney just runs him down at the one-yard line, and they took it in for the touchdown. It's Connor Bryant he's pounding his way behind his big tackle for a touchdown. There goes Finn Murray again, once again, under tremendous pressure, and that ball almost became loose before he was down, but they called him down. All right, Bryant with this little throwback to the tight end. Only time he touched the ball all night, Terrell. That was a real, that was a brilliant play call. It really was. Absolutely a brilliant play call. And there we go, once again, just looking for green earth is Bryant with three touchdowns. All right, Finn Murray, folks his eyes downfield scrambling and gets Stan Bernard, who goes over They're the over bridge <laughs> and rolls and is up. And Finn Murray, and there's a beautiful score by Barrowett. And look how he gets hit afterwards. 
And there's Bryant again with a nice off tackle run, untouched, really in the end zone. Okay, Finn Murray once again under pressure, under pressure, and he just gets sandwiched on that play. And that'll do a very tough first half, 21 to seven. The Rangers here coming in as underdogs have really taken command, time of possession, and really everything about the first half. It's been all Rangers. We'll be right back after this word from our sponsors with the second half. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back. Here we are, second half, 21 to seven, Rangers over to Colonials. And Tim, in the 13 years we've worked together, we've probably said 100 times that the most important drive is the first drive of the second half, and it couldn't be more true tonight. All right, bloop kick. And a little return That's right Coleman. across Coleman. the organization, and there we go. That's a great defensive play to start the game by the Colonials. All right, Coleman, not running north-south, running east and west, just running parallel. And uh, good field position for A.B., holding them to the 25-yard line. Coleman just couldn't find anywhere to go, and that's a good start for A.B. All right, see what changes. Like you said, we think uh, our call is that Methuen's going to run Brutus. More. I don't think he touched the ball maybe once. So the first half, there he is in the backfield. And they run option to Brutus on the first play, and he goes up the sideline for about 13. Okay, and you, you called it, and what do we got here? Maybe stepped out of bounds. Uh, they're calling it back, or. I'm not Let's see. Okay, the there, was that, there was motion. Motion there against Methuen. Illegal motion there. And that's going to be a five yard penalty, and that's going to negate a 13 yard run by Brutus. Well, you had it pegged right. They were going to go to Brutus right from the start. First and 15 now from the, from the 20. Back to pass goes Bryant. Is it keeps oh, up the yeah. middle and he's taken down? That makes a difference. Okay. All right, Matt German not letting him go anywhere. Fleming is stopped, but German just knifes in and gets Bryant and puts him in a third and long to start this third quarter. Second and long, I'm sorry. We had a penalty on the first down. Lost, second and long. Loss of about a yard and a half, so second and 16, let's call it. Again, the keeper. And Breaks a couple of tackles, gets back to the original line of scrimmage, maybe another yard gain. It's a third and nine, but I'll tell you, we're still we're still missing tackles. If you take a look at this, Connor Bryant is pretty strong, <laughs> I'll tell you, because he You're just getting through this. Nate Sullivan had him, couldn't get him. Matt German had him, couldn't get him. And breaking a lot of, you know, tackles around the legs. Well, this kid's strong. All right, here's the question. Do you do you bring the house on this one? There's a flag on the play. Too many men on the field, maybe? Maybe I'll ask my uh, esteemed producer, yeah, the Rick, eye, to the, count them up. The, the eyes in the <laughs> truck. Well, I can't count that. I can't count that high. Huh. 
What a long call. Is too many men on the field. Too, too many, many men. I had it right. Too many men. You got it right. All right. All right, you, 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 got to, you got to make a stop here. They're deep in their own territory. Gonna be a little and here he play. comes, Nate Sullivan. Right over the middle, and pass right. is knocked away That's great. by Victor Otero. Great play by Vic Otero. He timed it perfectly. And Nate Sullivan coming in, couldn't get to him, and perfect. Perfect defense by Victor Otero on Korea, and it's a fourth down, and good field position coming up for A.B. Wow, almost a block there. High kick, and an A.B. bounce. Oh, we gained five yards on that kick. Vic Otero wisely letting it bounce, and that went five yards the other way, and we're in Methuen territory, the 45-yard line. All right, first and 10 on the 45. I love that. A.B. comes out much better on defense. Yeah, much better on defense, but let's, let's face it, Methuen just kind of kicked themselves in the butt a couple of times there, too. With, uh, with two penalties. All right, we have so many different formations. Just anxious to see how we attack. Well, yeah. I, th I, think we've, I think we've got to go misdirection, some screens. Uh, I think Coach Bassett's gonna mix it up a little bit if, if they keep coming at us like this. All right, Finn Murray back, plenty of Good protection, and Vic Otero with a touchdown yes, strike! Sir. Wow! Whoa! There you go, I said the middle was open in the first half. No flags on the play, and, and there you go. This one does not get called back. Good protection, perfect pass, right in stride, Victor Otero! And Victor's dad, Vic, is wearing the Flem Dog jersey tonight. Talked to him at halftime, and he said, we gotta stop him on the first drive, and we gotta score on our drive, and that's exactly what we've done. All right, the kick is up, and it is good. So with 8.41 to go in the third quarter, they're even operating the scoreboard wrong, but it's 21-14, folks. And it's a brand new day here at Leary Field. Look at that pass. Victor Otero with his, I think, his eighth touchdown of the season. Well, they were giving us that in the first half. We came out and tested it with that one play that was called back right out of the gates. And uh, they said, we'll give you the post. We're going to shut everything else down and come at you hard. And we took advantage of that. Well, I'm just, I'm just wondering if Methuen is changing their scheme in terms of going after Murray or uh, if our protection was just better. But Finn had time to just look and just play pitch and catch with Victor. He had a ton of time. When you look at that, that uh, offensive line, it was like a perfect wall. Interesting. All right. Kick is off the middle Scott return. Coleman and he and just slips. Taken down. Inside the 30 yard line. That's Coleman at about Coleman. the 28 yep. yard line. And AB's got a spring in their step. You can tell. Nick Pacillo on the stop. Swing pass, and this time no missed tackle, sure-handed 
Noah Sweeney just absolutely <laughs> wrapping him up. No chance for Brutus Sweeney with a perfect tackle. Just stopping him and bringing him down. And now it's second and long. Boy, you can feel the confidence almost going from one side of the field to the other and the uncertainty going from one side of the field to the other. It's a fake toss and Coleman's under pressure again and he's yeah. taken down! We're not going for the fake! Okay, Nate Sullivan chasing him down! Look at Nate Sullivan after him. And Matt Cox right there with Nate Sullivan to seal the deal. And it's third and a zip code right now. Third and 19. All right, Bryant. Tries to escape wide and out, cuts away from Durstein and is just about a yard short of the first oh, down. Oh my goodness, missed tackles again and that's gonna be a yard short or two yards short of a first down. Most likely Methuen's gonna punt, but look at this. This would have been absolutely tragic. Oh, I think they go all for is, it. All is Durstein, I don't know about that. It's uh, fourth down oh, and a half yard. Uh, fourth down and a half yard. They're very, very close. That's playoff football. I think you go for it. We'll see. Wow, to, con to convert on third and 20. All right, here we go. Fourth down. <laughs> They're in that Chelmsford jumbo offense. They run behind it, and oh, I think I they stopped them. Yeah, I, I think, think they, they stopped them. Oh, let's look at that. Oh, look at that. No, no, it should be a half a yard the back. Coach Bassett is beside himself oh, on the spot no of the way. football. Oh, really? I still think it's short. It's short All by right. a, a, a... Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Eagle Eyes, I'm on your side. I don't know if I call no, but they're moving they're, the chains. They're moving the chains. There's no measurement here, they're calling it. Oh, look where the... the he, 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 was, he was stopped a half a All yard right. behind there. That is amazing. I, I From where they it was marked across the field, we were short. The, the nine yard line was the first down. Right, the slant the other way goes Bryant. And another first down run. Wow, and when they do RPO with this kid, he, he, he's a strong runner. Take a look at this. Just finding his way. And then Nate Sullivan just chases the play all the way back. Got to make a stop here. Got to make a stop. Okay, got that field goal kicker, so this is a really important series. All right, this time they run a jet. And there's a flag. Alex Barat on the tackle in the backfield. Alex Barat. Okay, let's check the flag here. Barrowit calls against the Rangers holding. Well, you take the play. I think you take. Well, I, tell, I don't know. That ten yards is ten. You got a field goal kicker. Lot. You probably yeah. back him up. Holding. They're, no. they're climbing. Okay. It. Yeah, that's a that's a close call to take that penalty or not. What you want to do is just hold them to two more downs. You don't want to give them a, another down. All right. Someone's got to step up and make a play here. 
Yeah. We're halfway through the third quarter, 21 to 14. I smell a reverse. Sweeney with the great play. No flag on that. Looked like we were off sides. Well, you know what? Everything, everything evens out. Everything balances out. Third and 14. Thank God that pass was short. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He had, he had Sweeney beat. He had Sweeney beat again. But uh, the pass came up short, and Noah was able to bat it down. Brian, yeah, Brian 0 for 3 in the second half. Now they ran this play before with trips, so they're going to motion out of it. Let's see what they do. All right, Brian. What? Throws a rocket. Oh, incomplete. Oh, thank God. Whoa, I wow. thought that was. I thought that was complete. Intercepted. Inside I thought, the 20. No, take a look at this. It was like a Jermaine Curse. I, I thought he had that ball. Oh, it, oh, it just, he almost caught it back. Almost landed right on it, right on his chest there. That's right. Fourth right. down. Wow. That's a, a rocket on the rollout pass there. A kick and throw on the run. High snap gets the, it's there blocked. Goes. There you there go! It go. almost there came to us! Block. Okay! We've been close! At a really good defensive series, Matt Cox coming in, doing what he's been doing all season long. I don't, you know what? I'm not sure if he blocked it or whether the kicker got so distracted that he had to uh, adjust his kick. Let's, huh? let's see the replay one, once again. Wow. I, I'm not sure Matt, Matt blocked it, but I think he put the kicker so much out of his rhythm that he couldn't get the kickoff. Let's see. No, I don't, I think, I don't think he blocked it. I think he shaked it. Yeah. That's a good call there, Mark. I, I would have missed that completely. All right, Barat is going to have a little backside opportunity here as he cuts through. And he gets a first down out of nothing. Barrowett, sorry. <laughs> out, of it, out of it was good. Look at Finn, look at Finn Murray. Finn Murray, uh, when Barrett reverses, Finn yeah, is right just, this. he's just looking for someone to block. He can't find anybody, <laughs> but he does get in the way, and he does a nice screen that lets Barrowett get a first down. All right, Finn looks over the middle. He's got Stampin' on! Touchdown! Yes, sir! Wow. Yes, sir! I, feel, I feel like I'm going to the movie called The Usual Suspects because The Usual Suspects are turning up right now. And you look at the replay, my favorite part of the play is how Stan Bernard hands the ball to the ref after he scores. That is the way a Colonial, I hope you can show that. Watch this, okay, I know where I am. I'm in the end zone, here you go, ref. <laughs> this, uh, this is all about business here, watch this. He's gonna toss it to him. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. And the kick is up, and it is good, it's and it's tie time, game. folks. A tie game with 4.31 to go in the third quarter. And this has been the tale of two halves here in Leary Field. And look at this pass. And look at the concentration of Stan Bernard to bring this in. Number 20 has his hands there. Really good defensive position. But Stan, perfect concentration. Stan the man, Bernard. Stan and, the man. You know, Mark, we've seen Stan catch some amazing you know, passes from Finn Murray this year. But with that arm in his face like that, I have to say that might have been the best catch of the season, given it's a playoff game and everything else. Yeah, given, He's caught given, some unbelievable balls, but that is a money catch. Yeah, given the circumstances. 
Yeah, that's it. It's number eight for Stan also. All right, they kick it to Brutus on his 15. And he gets to the, looks like he gets, oh, cutback run. He's still on his feet across the 30 to 34. All right, lucky, lucky to stop him at the 34. Get a Hogard on the tackle. And let's see how Methuen responds here. They've taken a kick to the gut right now with two touchdowns in just seven minutes. Flag. Okay. That could be motion. That could be motion on. I think that might have been Ricky Brutus. Let's take a look. Yep. Yeah. Illegal shift. All right. That'll cost him five. First and 15. Backing them up. And you can see the mistakes happening, the uncertainty coming in, and is looking at a, at a very different, very different body language here from the Methuen team here in the second half. All right, Methuen in a pistol. They fake the jet, they fake the cross pop, and Bryant goes over the middle, and I think it's a fumble. Oh, but no, they called it down, they wow. called it down. Look at this, let's see. It's a see. fast whistle, fake the cross pop, and then it's a run up the middle, design. And yeah, he was down, he was down. I give him that. All right, second and 11. They run the trips, run the other way to the weak side and toss it to Brutus for a first down run. That was a great toss. That was perfectly timed by Bryant to Brutus. And take a look at this. Good toss. Matt Cox had his eyes on Bryant, but then it went to Brutus and he went right by him. And the offensive line really for the Rangers was, was the winner of that place and great blocks. Seal blocks. All right, up the middle and nothing there. Okay. This time, that's the way our defense has looked all year on the middle runs when Dylan ran with LS. Here we go. Look at this. Flemdog. Andrew Fleming, look at that. 2.35 to go in the third quarter, all tied up. Time for a turnover, time for a turnover. Let's, we haven't had, seen a turnover here. There we go. There's a missed snap here. Yeah. And, yeah. oh, I think. And they're still alive here. You know what, I, th I think there may be a face mask against AB here. Might be a face mask. I don't, here's the replay. No flag on the play. No flag, okay. I was concerned. I looked at that and that, oh no, not a, close to a face mask. I was just concerned about that. And third and 17 now. All right, and you're gonna see a double move. Likely on the outside is what they've shown in these situations most of the time here. All right, Brian looking. He's gonna scramble here. Yeah, All right. good, good coverage. And that is a fourth down punt coming up. 
Nate Morton Sullivan with the tackle. You know, they, they put Nate Sullivan in the secondary in the second half, and I think that's made a big difference. Nate's made a lot of plays already in the third quarter. And he's right there, getting right in the way. Nick Pacillo is chasing him down. And fourth and 10 right now. That time we had the nose guard standing up on the middle rush. We've got a whistle here. Flag on. There we go, doing, five I more yards. It's like flip the script on the penalty balls. Indication is too many men on the field against Methuen. This is, suddenly this Methuen team has become undisciplined. Too many men on the field for the second time. And another penalty. And it's almost like they're unraveling in front of our eyes. That was Zach Bergeron, sophomore, running upfield in his gunner position before the ball was snapped. And that's the good, yeah, that's 10 yards for AB right there. High snap again, and it's a fake! Out of bounds, AB football on the 45. Wow. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, that is chutzpah. You're not, you're, you're, not, you're not dealing with a fourth and three or a fourth and four. You've got a tie game. Uh, and uh, I mean, they're, they're just pulling out all the stops and taking all the risks. That was a high risk play. But you know, you think about these last eight or 10 plays from Methuen, given how dominant they were in the first half. And you know, they've made some mistakes in the second half, but, but really they're still physically and athletically on, you know, playing with us. And they do a lot of quarterback keepers. They really aren't using their whole team as much as they were the first half. And there you have it. All right, first and 10. Finn Murray under pressure and throws oh, it out of bounds. Oh, I'll tell you, that, that could have been a call right there. They had good pressure on Murray on that play. AB with a little trick play here. and I. Well, whatever happens here, you have flipped the field right now because AB's got the ball almost at the 50 yard line. So even if you don't get a first down, uh, you're putting Methuen back in tough field position. Methuen showing blitz and they bring the house. And it's a perfect play. Vic Dotel breaks the tackle, oh, first down. You know what, the do -si do got the first down. Look at the do, -si do He did not have the first down. He had an eight yard reception and that little do, -si -do Put him over the first yard mark. There we go, eight yards. There's a dosey -si do. See you later. And that's a first down for AB. And the other great part, then that's the third quarter. And Mark, what I loved about that play was the fact that Finn Murray executed on an all-out blitz and got the pass out of his hand. Yeah, Big I mean, time that, athletic that, play. That is tough when you've got five guys coming right at you. We want to thank our sponsors. Acton Pharmacy, Gallant Insurance, Huntington Learning Center, Medical Aesthetics, National Aviation Academy, Shire, Caton, and Epstein, BC, the Steinberg Lally Charitable Foundation, and TC Landos. Uh, thank you for making all this possible and all your help, and look forward to having you come back next season. It's been quite a season, and I think all the sponsors have gotten their money's worth. <laughs> I agree. All right, all tied up. We got 11 minutes of football left. That's a brand new game, folks. First and 10 for the Colonials on the 41 of the Rangers. Who wants to go to Danvers? That's the question. Who wants it bad? All right, Finn Murray with the keeper this time as he cuts his way up for another first down. All right, that's the play. That's a great call right there. 
Alright, let's take another look at this and let's look at how everybody just absolutely poor job. Oh, Hollis Durstein just keeping his block for about 10 yards. Now, oh. Yep, illegal procedure against the Colonials, so march that back. All right, it'll be first and 15. Ethan Logue has not caught a pass tonight, but he's got three touchdown receptions. He's got more touchdown receptions than anyone on the Methuen team. And he's a football player. You gotta watch him. Here it is, Jonas Whitman with a eight yard romp. Good play call, good play selection. And here's that creativity. A little bubble screen to the tight end. And Brutus brings him down, but not before. 10 makes yards. It, makes it about a second and second and five, 10 yard gain. And that pass is open again to Wickman. They're leaving that wide open. They're playing way off of him. Wow, what a cut! He's got a first down, I believe. He's very close to the first down. And let's see if they give the kind of spot to A.B. like they gave to Methuen. If they do, we have a first down, and we're moving the chains. What great vision again, all year. And with that run, he has more than his second half total. Nick Priscilla checks in. You see if they put Nick Priscilla in the slot where Jonas has been playing. Mark, they're leaving that wide open. That's a sit-down route open. Barrow it up the middle. And yeah, yeah, he just maybe a yard or two. Yep. That's a respect play. Uh, you want to say, you know, is this a game that's going to be decided by a field goal? You just don't, you just don't know. Finn Murray's got a strong leg too. He's no slouch. All right, that post is wide open again. Look for Wickman over the middle. Here's blitz. A blitz. <laughs> Touchdown, Colonials! The stand Murray! Look at the way Finn Murray stands in, looking at the blitz. He is just looking at guys coming right after him, but good protection on the blitz. And Stan Bernard with just one little move. And he is in the end zone. Oh. And AB has its first lead of the game. Wow, what a reversal of fortune we're seeing here. All right, the kick is up and it is good. So with 8.30 to go in the ball game, the Colonials go up for the first time, as you said, 28 to 21. And it that, took us a while, but it sure tastes great right oh, now. Oh, it sure does. And it's less filling, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. Stan Bernard. Just a little hitch, and he's gone. You just can't, you don't arm, you don't tackle him by the shirt. Second touchdown reception, ninth of the season for Stan Bernard. Well, A.B. looks like A.B. <laughs> they, you know, the way they play ball, they take these, they run these plays that you don't think a high school team can execute. That little I, think, down the I think Tim Bassett brought in Ronald Reagan, who played the part of George Gipp <laughs> in that famous halftime speech in Notre Dame and just inspired this team. All right, now we got to make sure special teams continues to shut these kids down. Deep kick. Over the middle, all the way to about the three, five yard line. We break down and oh, good coverage. Okay, who is that? 
Who makes that play every single time? Nick Bercillo, the best defender on this AB team. I think Anthony Pedarino maybe. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. With the tackle yeah, there. That's me. I thought it was 20. Uh, tw no, it's Nick Pachillo. Oh, it's Nick and Pachillo Pederino and too, Pederino. Yeah. 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 yeah Pederino started it for Pachillo and finished it. Very nice. All right, first and 10 for the Rangers. 8.23 to go. Plenty of time left in this ball game. After 177 yards in the first half, no positive yardage for Bryant in the second half. Bryant with the cut up, he gets oh, good about stop. five or six. Boy, that's slant. He runs off tackle. All right, let's take a look. Fakes, fakes right, goes left. Bryant is, I think, the strong, he's stronger than Dylan. <laughs> he's breaking more tackles. Brian again with the keeper up the middle. And first down and more. What is that? No, it's not a flag. Somebody somebody dropped their uh I'm looking at what's a yeah, red yeah, what's yeah. A, red flag? A, red, a red flag. It's not a it's not a flag. I know first it's down. close to Halloween, but you can't All right, uh, take a look at it. Once again, Hollis and then Hollis Thurstein has and there we go. Okay. All right, first and 10 on the 38. The Rangers are starting to march. They run the jet on the outside. Oh, and wow, all the way across the field. I'll give you three guesses. Three guesses. Defensive player of the DCL, Nick Puccillo. Here's the replay, Nick Basile playing, I think right middle linebacker comes all the way across the field and picks his way through traffic for the tackle. Second and 11. AB rushing three. And a little hold there, looks like. They throw a quick out play. And Brutus breaks tackles for a first down. Yeah, I think I think Noah Sweeney missed the tackle there. We'll take a look at that. He had him, couldn't hang on to him, and it's a first down for Danvers. Uh, for Danvers, yeah, I'm in Danvers already. My head is in Danvers. Let's take a look. Sweeney just couldn't get him. Keeper up the middle. Goes Bryant for another first down run. I'll tell you, he's just, he's just one impressive quarterback. Just the way he picks his spots. And he, he's got good acceleration. Finn Murray misses a tackle. And they're down at the 36. AB is looking to regroup here as Methuen has shown some signs of life here coming back with 6.08 to go in the game. This could come down to the, the last team that has possession. They started at around their 25 yard line and they have held the ball now for about three minutes. And what they do, Mark, it seems like. Is that this half, 12 carries for 74 yards this half. So that, that puts them at about 130, 140 yards rushing uh, for the game. And Mark, you know, the, the Rangers with these carries are setting up for a play action pass over the middle. Uh, and we gotta be, I think, I'm sure Coach Bassett is telling the team, our team just that, watch the play action. They're setting you up that way. We got single safety. All right, Brutus over the edge, makes a great cut. And another 10 yard run. They are romping and the whole offensive line is back here. So we're getting, we're getting through that first level 
quickly. Oh, they're responding. They're not sitting down here. I think uh, it's second and short here. And wow. second and one. This gives, you'd almost want them to get the first down, have gotten the first down here, because this gives them so many options with second and short. They can really use the whole playbook here. It's a game of endurance tonight. I think both teams are getting worn down here. Low snap there. Bryant takes the ball through the middle for about two or three better. Okay, and we had a little uh, tet a tet with Victor Otero and uh, Coleman, the two number sixes there. Here's the replay. And boy, this big time, strong runner. Connor Bryant. All right. The Rangers knocking on red zone territory here. All right, option to Brutus on the outside. Flags all over the field. Ah, uh, that's going to be a good sign for AB. That's going to bring it back. That's a hold. That's a hold against Masuin. And that's a huge mistake at this point in the game. Yes. And a chop block. Hold and a chop block. Two penalties. Too bad we can't take them both. <laughs> we have to choose. No choice. All right. And it's coming back. 15 yards. First and 20 for the Rangers. In the pistol. Bryant back the pass, looking over the middle. Oh! And Slim Dog comes to the rescue. Andrew Fleming on the stop. That could be the play of the game here. He's coming. Great tackle, brings him down at the 37 yard line. And Bryant. 43, I'm sorry, 43. Bryant hasn't gone down like that the whole game. I mean, he really, he doesn't go down. No, they gave him, uh, they gave him uh, forward motion to the 40 yard line. And they've got to get to the 18 yard line for a first down. Here's your trick play. Bryant throws deep over the middle. Sweet oh, yeah. dog! With a great play! Okay, once again, Mr. Sweeney, Johnny wow. on the spot. Noah, what an athletic play. Noah on the spot. He got that pass away just as he was hit. And great makeup speed. Boy, I tell you, that ball bounced tantalizingly out of a couple of receivers' hands. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. We're rushing three. We got trips right. Bryant back the pass, throws the ball, the hitch over the middle, and well covered by A.B. to bring up fourth down. All right, it's going to be about fourth and 14 here. And the clock is ticking. We're going down to about a little over three and a half minutes here. So this could be a really a game defining play here. Methuen wisely calling a timeout because they know how just important this play is. This could be the game for Methuen. If they don't make this first down and AB can string three First downs together, keep the ball on the ground. That could be the game. Let's take a look at the sack. One more time, Mark. Andrew Fleming, a captain, a senior. And there he is. 
just taking the right angle, going right past the defender who just puts his hands to his head and said, how did I let that guy get past me? All right, here it is. Trick play, misdirection. They're gonna throw everything at it's the Ranger kitchen sink play. All right, Bryant, back to pass. He's looking, he's got some room up top. He's gonna throw the ball. Wow, batted away, okay, A.B. takes no over. Flag. No flag, A.B. takes over. Once again, great pursuit against Connor Bryant. They forced him to the sideline. Take a look at this. Look at this pursuit. Fleming going after him, and then he's at the sideline and just had to fling it. And you see, uh, Victor Otero making sure the ball's batted out of the end zone, just like the way Bill Belichick <laughs> coaches his no team. No chances. Don't want any. Don't take any chances. All right. Well, he still has some work to do here. 3:27 to go in you the got, game. You got 200. You got 207 seconds here <laughs> between here and Danvers. Uh -huh. All right, Pat Cronowitz around the edge. He's got one man to beat, and he gets, he falls over for a first down. Okay, the only the only bad news about that is that it stops the clock. Look at Cronowitz, he was, he was running, <coughs> he was running the contact here. And first down for A.B. And you fall forward. There's now, a clock running. He, now the key is, Take your time, no reason to rush. Take all the time you can. All right, in the divide backfield. Throwing it the other way behind some blockers. And this time, the Rangers. Let's, now let's see if they call a timeout. Let's see if Mathuin calls timeout. Time yep, out. yep. They're calling. They're calling timeout. They're gonna. They're gonna use their timeouts now and not let AB count the clock down to the last couple of seconds. They know their season is on the line right now. What a second half! Wow, oh my goodness! All right, second and ten on the thirty-six. Well, it's second and 11. He lost the yard in that play. A.B.'s got to get another two first downs. Put this game away. A lot of work to do here. All right, the keeper with Finn Murray. And he oh, he's got the first, for first down. He's got the first down. Look Here's the this. keeper behind the blocking. Nick Priscillo looks like here. Boy, he's in, he's in to get those 12 yards very quickly, Tim. Another timeout by Methuen. They're, they're killing their timeouts here, and that could be very important if A.B. does not score and have to turn the ball over because we're burning these timeouts. That's going to put Methuen in a very tight spot. Well, you just keep the ball on the ground, Tim, or you take a chance. And, Not, and, and throw it and try to get another first down. I like uh, Alex Barrowit on an off tackle play right now. I think they've, uh, what seems to be open is the keeper off tackle in the middle with, with Finn. Uh, I think running up the middle from a running back point of view, they stopped all night, so that's, uh, that's just not gonna be there. They are playing everybody up, we could take a shot but I don't think, uh, I think we're going for grind the clock. With that said, we go empty backfield. I, 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 <laughs> I tell you, I wouldn't be surprised. 
Vic Otero with a fly for just a yard. That's go, that, that was the, uh, the, the fly and the stop. And look at Vic going around, sees and nothing there, tries to cut back, and it's a third and 10 right now. Another Ranger timeout. Still plenty of time here, two minutes and 38 seconds. All right, we just need to average five yards a carry. <laughs> well, these next two plays. Wait a minute, you're not, you're, you're not, you're not going to run from the 48-yard line. You're, you're going to, you're going to kick. No, I mean it's second down. Oh right. Okay. No, I'm just saying. Right, yeah. You got right, two okay. plays. Let's yeah, average five yeah, yards a carry. Sense. Okay. All right. Uh, your, your math works for me. <laughs> I'm just trying to parse this into an achievable right, objective, right, you know? That's right, that's right. <laughs> All right. These are where you got to make the block of your life. Rangers showing blitz. Oh, I gotta tell you, they're in the backfield. <laughs> Whoa. I want to tell you, we had we had more Methuen players in the AB backfield than AB players. Great, great little, again, right out of Brady's uh, book there. So now, do the math. Two and a half That's yards. Two and a half yards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that helps a lot, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it sure does. So we got the first carry to five yards I wanted. Uh, Okay, clock starts to go here, I would assume. Uh, I don't see the clock going. No, it's stuck at 2.37 right now. I thought on the whistle the clock would go, but maybe not. Okay, second and five. On the 48 of the Rangers. 2.37 to go in the game. I told you. Wow. I told you. I told you that there's going to be an aggressive play to get the first down, putting the ball in the air, a safe pass, a first down, another timeout by Methuen, and they got to be right at the end of their allotment here. And that could be the play that ices the game for the Colonials. What a gutsy call. I love that. I love that aggressive Coach Bassett play call. It's just been that way all season. I just had a feeling that that ball was going to be in the air at some point. Ben Murray, four for seven. And went 30, 130 yards and 18 in the second half. 130 yards passing and three touchdowns for Finn Murray in the second half. Well, that, that was Methuen's last timeout. So you should see a run play here. <laughs> and they're gonna do a run blitz. I think Finn Murray keeps the ball in this. And Barrowick cuts up and... And that could be the game, folks. What a great oh, a toss. We got flags. We got flags. Hold on, everybody. Hold on. Don't get too excited. Where was the flag called? The backside? Yeah, I think I think it's it's against AB. And they're moving back. It's a hold. It's a hold. He's gonna wow. bring it back ten yards. That'll bring it back five yards. First and fifteen. First and 15, no, first, first and 20, that'll be 10 yards, that's a 10 yard, not a five yard. 2.24 to go, I don't think any time came off the clock. I don't know if that clock's accurate up there right now. This clock should be running. <laughs> <laughs> well, you tell, the, you tell the clock guy, the clock guy didn't even know how to I get mean, up. He got asked us for directions. <laughs> that whistle goes, that clock's running.
Oh. Illegal okay, procedure. Five yards. So AB needs to come to grips here. Well, it could be a matter of running three plays and running down the clock as far as you quick can and putting Methuen around their 15, 20 yard line with no timeouts and about a minute to go. That could very well be the scenario. I just wish, I, you know, I really want to know what the real time is. I don't think it's 224, but we got to execute a couple of plays here. Finn Murray, cutting up, close to a, back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> close to back to the line of scrimmage. Oh, my God. Call. Here's the replay. All right. Finn. Right call, went right to the weak fake, side. There's a fake to the fly to, to Victor, and he turns the corner and gets about 15 yards, about 14 yards on the play. And just take your sweet time. Ah, oh, they're talking about dinner plans. Second you know, and 11. They're, they're, they're going to play Fortnite. You know. Here we go, second and 11. Trips right. Finn Murray under duress is... Not a lot of time used on that play to bring up third down and about 13. And frankly, at this point, at this point, I'm more concerned really about ball security right now. Finn is got that ball and you want to hang on to that ball because they're they're gonna go for the ball. A B is now gonna run run this clock down and call a timeout right. as far as it can go. Run it to one second and call a timeout and you'll be within a minute. Oh, we got some good time. We're in the 40s now. 49 seconds. 49 seconds. That is, that's called good clock management. I guess that clock is the official clock. And I don't understand this, but uh, all right. 49 seconds to go in the game. 28-21 Colonials. The ball's on the 40 two-yard line of uh, the Rangers. Yeah, yeah, Tim, you know what I could see happening here? It's not going to happen, but, but, I, but I could see it happening. We run the ball, and it's fourth down, and we've got about, we've got to snap it with about 18 seconds to go. Finn Murray just takes it and just runs all the way back to our end zone for a safety and runs the clock out. Wow. And that way you're not, you're not, you know, you're not looking at a potential block punt but or he, a run back or anything like that. He's got to get to the end zone though. He, yeah. If he doesn't get to the end zone. Well, he's, he's, he's got a good start. Wow. Interesting. All right, we're in a pistol. Wow, Rangers with an all-out attack. No flags. Okay, now they're going to do this again. They're going to bring it right down to one second and call another timeout. And then I would not punt this ball. I would just have Finn run it out. Well, you're, in, uh, you're not in Hail Mary, but you're in hook and ladder territory at that point of the field, so interesting. We're down to 12, 11, 10, 9, Nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 5, five seconds. seconds. Five seconds, fourth down. It's a big call. Timeout Time AB. All right. 
right, let's see what happens here. This could be a this could be a very interesting play. They're gonna punt. They're not gonna punt. They're going to punt. And that's the game. He touched the ball. J.B. Ball. That's we want to work on the Danvers, folks. He did. He did punt the ball. I didn't think he would. Wow. And what a win for A.B. Next Friday night, Danvers, Massachusetts, unless, unless, a miracle is pulled off by Havel tonight. We're going to be in Danvers next Friday night. And the uh, last time we were there, we didn't have a very good time, Tim. And let's see if we can turn the table. I'll tell you, what a game. I, <laughs> I give credit to the Colonials for going into halftime and being challenged, really, for the first time this year, other than those last two minutes of that LS game. I'm gonna have to pull it all together rather quickly, but other than that, they really had to pull it together at half. They came out with a game plan. They looked like AB. They played like AB. 28-21. That was beautiful. And uh, my friend Barry Harrison was right here. He said it was like LS reverse. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, that's amazing. We want to thank our stat man, the inestimable Will Henry, Corrine Joseph, Brittany Ford. Ryan Coolahan, Chris Gray, Robin Kenny, Pat Snow, our director, Rick Degon, our executive producer, Mark Ducey, and thank you to everybody, and thank you, Tim. A great game, a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to next Friday night because we're playing with house money now. I love it, I love it. We're in the second round of the playoffs, so don't go away just yet, folks. We're going to be right back after this uh, with the game second half highlights and more. And I'm just almost speechless, but I'll get it down. Here we go. Be right back. I'm Saad Dino, pharmacist and co-owner of Acton Pharmacy, located at 563 Massachusetts Avenue in West Acton. Your source for prescriptions, medical supplies, and a flu shot for the winter ahead. Our brand new state-of-the-art compounding lab provides compounding medications customized to the patient's needs in a specialized form like a liquid, cream, or capsules. Compounding medications are a needed alternative for those that cannot take commercially available products. We are also glad to assist you in helping you understand Medicare Part D plans and choosing a prescription plan that is best tailored to your medication needs. And when you can't come to us, We'll be glad to come to you via our delivery service. Acton Pharmacy has it all, so put us in your starting lineup this upcoming season. Good luck, A.B. Shire, Caton, and Epstein, PC, located in the historic Weatherby House, has been your community law firm for over 25 years. We have five attorneys and a supporting staff to serve your business, real estate, or estate planning needs. For more information on how we can assist you in your legal needs, contact us at 978-264-4655 or visit us online at www.skactonlaw.com. That's www.skactonlaw.com. Hey America, is there anything you're truly proud of? How about becoming an aviation maintenance technician? In just 14 months, you'll be watching the metal birds that you just repaired soar back into the sky. I can't think of anything else to be more proud of. At National Aviation Academy, we train ordinary men and women to do extraordinary things. Welcome to your future. Your plans are ready for takeoff. 800-292-3228 or visit bostonwingman.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. 28-21, Colonials take this big first playoff action against the Rangers. Let's look at the second half highlights. We start, Bryant gets away, and we're all up to that scramble in the second That's half with German. German. Yeah, and here's Finn. 
Look at this. Look at this throw. We've done this so many times before. It's Victor, Victor Otero for his ninth touchdown of the season. Eight receiving, one interception return. Fake toss. Bryant looks to scramble. And we're ready for him again. Nate Sullivan and Matt Cox. And look at this. This was not a block. This is just Matt Cox just getting into the kicker's head and making him just shank the ball. Ben Murray looking down for the post. And look at that catch. Stan Bernard, I still what stand by it. This is the best catch of the season. He's made great ones. And there's that ill-advised fourth down fake. And Pat Frenowet says, no way, we take the ball. All right, Finn Murray looking over the middle. Look at the, break, the broken tackles by Victor Otero as he steps up for first down yardage. And here we go once again. Stan Bernard, just a little hit. That's it. Pizza cake into the end zone. Bryant looking downfield and Flemdog the with the sack. The Flemdog. And that's it. Wow, what a game on a beautiful Friday night. We're off to likely Danvers. We'll see how that St. John games goes, but that's a 90 percenter, I think. 28-21. Uh, yeah, 99 percent, I think. Yeah. And the best second half of football that Colonials have played all year against a really a very, very solid Ranger team. So hats off to Methuen for a game well played. This is a real playoff game in every sense. I want to thank the crew again for everything you've done, all the preparation. Crew call starts at 4 o'clock. Uh, no, that's not, uh, yeah, at 4 o'clock, and then they stay here and they load up. It's, you know, the roadies. Oh, yeah. we got to thank the roadies. We're yeah. in our limo riding home, and they're still tearing <laughs> down equipment and everything else. And thank you to our sponsors. And with that, we'll see you next week, folks.